White Addy Powers 1, White Addy Powers 2, <laughs> White Addy Powers 3, Red Old School Addy Powers, SBD Smalls, SBD Large, Large, oh yeah, James has his under, under there. But, Magings 1, Magings 2, Magings 3, Magings 4. Little squat mashup party at Gold's Gym, Spokane. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You should know how to play it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to explain that. Uh, so people don't understand that. So, but then I flare my lats, and this is like to like kind of cue my upper back. So basically, what I'm doing is like my scapulas come down and in. I'm stabilizing my upper back because that's the back position I want in my squat. So once I have this down, and I go thumbs over because it's easier on my shoulder. Yeah, I did the same thing. It felt yeah. so much better once I did that. Yeah. So I hold this position, pull myself through to the bar, and so this is which is be my low bar setup. Yeah. I, I find my groove. I'll pull my feet in, and this is where I take my breath. Okay, so yeah, so I'll yeah. I'll take a pressure it. breath now. Like, yeah, so that's gonna keep you tight for the lift off. So you'll hear me. Then my rotation. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Get on right. And then I'll screw my feet in. Gotcha. Yeah, I've noticed though, like the lift off for me is. It's like a little urgency on the whole thing. Down. So I need to focus with this, kind of like drive my knees out with this. You don't have to think about it. Like, yeah. Just squat with it, and okay. then you'll feel it. All right, guys, so there in those previous clips, you saw some, just some overall kind of tips from a friend of mine. His name is Matt. Uh, he's a power lifter. He actually um, competed recently. Um, he's in a 148-pound weight class and squatted 386 pounds and deadlifted uh, 474 pounds, which is a Washington uh, USPA record. Um, so this was just a day where we had a couple of friends, uh, the other guy in the green shirt there that was just squatting, that's uh, James Jones, he's a coach for uh, Progressive Fitness uh, here locally in town, so they do, uh, they preach flexible dieting and all that, so um, just kind of having like a squat day, so we had some other peeps over for a little uh, squat, little meet up there, and you all see, we all got the Addy Powers and the Inzer Belts and the SBD knee sleeves, but um, so this was a day where... Um, Matt was kind of really giving me a couple tips. He was helping me with uh, some breathing. So you see my breathing is a little bit different. I'm really trying to um, kind of hold the, kind of breathe through my abdomen, my abdomen if that makes sense, and really kind of work on bracing uh, my belt and using the advantage of my belt. So in this video clip, my breathing will look a little bit different than what I was doing before. Um, both Devin and I were trying to apply, like I said, some new breathing techniques. And then in that, in that previous clip, uh, when I was wearing that little pink band around my knees, it was really kind of a tip to really help focus on, um, it's called kind of like spreading, spreading the floor with your feet, which is really going to, which is really going to force you to drive your knees out when squatting. And I suppose I never, that's something, that's something that never, I never really used as a cue in my head was like focusing on my feet and like focus on spreading the floor with my feet. So that's something that a tip that, uh, that Matt had me, uh, work on here. Here's a clip of uh, him going through a squat. Like I said, guys, this guy is only, 
uh, 148 pounds and he squatted, you know, almost, you know, almost 400 pounds, um, which he said he, 386 pounds at his last meet was a state record. And then like right after him, a guy beat it by like a pound. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But uh, so definitely uh, really strong uh, for his weight and just somebody like um, that's just really knowledgeable when it comes to you know, breaking down the squat, little cues, little things like that. I'm always willing to, uh, you know, take little tips and things from people and, and you know, apply them to, to my own squat. And, hey, if it, if it helps out, then awesome. If not, then you still got to try something new. So I'm the type of person that I don't care who's teaching me, if it's something that is going to help my squat or worth impl or, or something that's going to teach me to implement something new, it's I'm always I'm – always, willing to learn new things. So uh, that was another clip of uh, Matt squatting and here is uh, Devin. Like I said, Devin and I are going through our 70, 80, and 90 percent here. Uh, with Devin, we're trying to focus on, he's having an issue with the bar kind of, he is new to low bar, but he's having an issue with having the bar kind of tilt on his back. So we're still working on that issue. Um, as for me, this is my last uh, 80% set with 365 pounds. Again, like I said, I'm trying to work a little bit different cue there. Trying to like, uh, apparently the way I was breathing before, it was making me kind of like lift my shoulders. So I'm trying to kind of breathe a breathing technique where, um, like, like I said, breathing through my abdomen and really uh, making my, my abdomen almost kind of stretch to kind of brace against my belt. Uh, here is Matt again. I believe this is about oh, 350 pounds that he's uh, doing here for a triple there. All right, guys, and then here is my PR set. Four plates. Believe it or not, in my whole lifting career, I'd only done four plates for a single. So this was me on my 90% trying to get three reps. And to be honest, that first rep, I was kind of cautious, but then the second and third rep, I felt a lot more comfortable with the weight once I got my confidence. I was like, hey, this isn't that bad. Like, honestly, this weight uh, felt pretty solid, to be honest. So kind of excited to uh, kind of get past that four-plate barrier now and kind of see how much more I can take my squat. And then we just kind of finished with some single leg, uh, single leg leg presses and some uh, standing hamstring curls, some calves, and that was pretty much it for this leg workout. So so stay tuned. I have a really, really cool video coming up of um, somebody that I'm helping with some posing. So for somebody, fellow bodybuilders out there, you might uh, catch some good tips in this next video.